you tell them guys welcoming you back with my love and respects um, and the blessings of my guru his divine holiness Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva so in this video I wanted to share a quick click uh, cognition a cognition I have about um, the guru and the importance of guru see the self we are all the self is the self for everyone um, but for that self to manifest you need to have the right catalyst um, and because again we were not raised in gurukuls and we were not taught the principal powerful cognition uh, when we were young powerful cognitions when we were young then we created, uh, we are stuck in our ego. And as long as the ego is there, ego is basically any form of powerlessness. So as long as there is any form of powerlessness in us, the self cannot express itself. Um, so the Guru, Swamiji, because he is in the space of enlightenment, in the space of Paramashivoham, and um, he, he knows how to interact with each one of us in order to discard the ego and allow the self to come back uh, and express itself and that is why it is so important to have a guru um, any people if you if i give another uh, more an example that is perhaps more common um, when you want to achieve something good you will always look at, depending on how intensely you want it you will always look for some experts help and you will always go for those who are the most successful in the field that you're looking to get success into and in the same way when you want to have that uh, spiritual expansion experience when you want to realize the self when you want to experience oneness with Paramashiva when you want to experience devotion and um, surrender and prayerfulness and all these dimensions of you to the fullest then actually you will seek the guru you will seek the master and the master's responsibility and commitment when he accepts you as a disciple when he commits to be the guru to you then he is there to guide you and to um, align you so that you drop all forms of powerlessness you drop the ego and you come back to the space of the self and you start to radiate that and that is why Guru is so important. Um, another thing I want to tie in with that is, see, when we are young, the child is, a very, is in the space of listening and he gets impressed by things around him. Um, it starts with, with the parents and then it goes further, you know, you have idols and stuff like that. So you always have some people who are inspiring you in some field, maybe, you know, in your business uh, in your work area, you have some kind of idol. Maybe in your entertainment area, you have different form, different kinds of idols. Maybe like that, we have different idols that are uh, motivating us, which are inspiring us to, uh, you know, uh, go in that path. So basically, Guru or Swamiji for me, he is that in the way that I am fortunate in the way that I don't need many idols because the Swamiji is able to fulfill all dimensions of my seeking. So what happens in the normal life when you don't have an enlightened being as a model, then naturally uh, somebody who is not enlightened will not be able to fulfill all your dimensions. They will fulfill one, two or three dimensions, whatever, but they won't be able to fulfill all. And that is why we get many because we seek fulfillment in various dimensions. But when you have Swamiji, when you have an enlightened being, an avatar as a model, as a as a guru then he is able to fulfill all of these dimensions and that is why it is enough he is enough for me because he fulfills everything that I seek and and I think that's a very important point to understand see some people they say we follow Swamiji and we are brainwashed um, when you fall in love do you consider people who fall in love brainwashed if yes, then okay. But uh, no, in the normal life, we don't consider some people who fall in love brainwash. Actually, in the normal life, you uh, I don't I should not use the word normal in the in the societal life. We we revere people who fall in love. We revere this experience of loving someone. 
Um, and that is exactly what's going on. I mean, Swamiji is my guru. I'm not brainwashed by Swamiji. I love him. That's all. Because he fulfills the, all the dimensions in me and he keeps the seeking alive. And he's, he allows me to rediscover the dimensions of me that I have forgotten. And yeah, he fulfills. So naturally, is enough. One is enough. No need to, um, to go around and, and get many. So I think that's something that, uh, you know, some... I think it's a basic understanding that is somehow missing um, because of various forms of fears which are not allowing us to see a very simple reality. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a very simple reality. Swamiji is there. He radiates enlightenment. I can see enlightenment. Actually, I can share that um, one of the, at various times when I had an opportunity to look in Swamiji's eyes from very um, close up, the first thing I saw, actually the only thing I saw in his eyes, is the experience of Mukti. I don't know how to describe what it is, but I can see, I can see the liberation, the true freedom in his eyes. I could see it. Many times I had this experience. Uh, it took me some time to realize what, was, what it was actually. I didn't understand it. I was having the experience, but I couldn't grasp what it was. But now I'm grasping it better and better. And it's really like I could experience, by looking into his eyes, I could experience, I could see liberation. And I also felt simultaneously that this experience is possible for me as well. And that is why I, uh, I chose Swamiji as my guru, because he was radiating what I was seeking. So that's what I want to share in this video. So just to bring perhaps some uh, simple reality to some things that are happening and are blowing out of proportion um, without any uh, real justification. Um, yes, so that's what I want to share with you in this video. Um, again, um, thanking, thanking you all for watching um, all these videos, thanking you for watching this video. If you feel that, um, you know, if you have anything to share, please feel free to share in the comments below, like, subscribe, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nidhyananda.